welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome so today I decided that I would do a foundation routine um, mind you I don't do this routine every single day because sometimes I do have to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning for school um, I do do this when you know if I have to go to work or if I'm going somewhere special um, otherwise I don't do this every single morning if you want to see how I contour and get my eyebrows done like this then please keep watching this video really corrected my face you can't really see my blemishes as much and it really corrected the redness and a bit of like the dark circles that I have underneath my eyes now I'm gonna put foundation um, I really like Maybelline dream the Maybelline dream mousse I use it in the shade what is the shade medium sandy beige I find that it's really hard to find a, found, a liquid foundation that's good for my skin tone because I am half Asian so I have a bit of like a yellow tone to my skin which makes it impossible to find something that's really good for my skin tone. Squeeze it out onto our foundation brush like so and just apply. I know a lot of people don't really like this one because it sometimes goes on a bit oily. It works great for me because I do have really dry skin so the fact that it's kind of a heavier foundation is an issue for me. Um, if you do have oily skin, I wouldn't really recommend this foundation because you can see it in some spots that it's kind of more, it's more shiny. I tend to sometimes forget my nose for some reason. Um, so yeah, always remember to put your nose because then that looks silly if you don't have foundation in one spot on your face. can't really see my freckles anymore um, a lot of my blemishes are now gone it's only if like you're super close that you can see that I have freckles now we're gonna add concealer underneath our eyes because I do have some darker spots under my eyes and a bit over here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my instant age rewind eraser for dark circles it's a uh, Maybelline I have mine in the neutralizing color because it has a yellow tone to it instead of pink which I'm trying to stay away from so you just give it some turns and just apply it under your eyes. You want to make sure that you also don't put it only under your eyes. You want to add it kind of going on your cheek because then it will just look like you have like a mask under. You don't want that effect. Um, you want to have it nice and blended. So I'm going to add this concealer anywhere that I want to highlight. So on my chin, my nose my forehead over here just anywhere where I'm not going to be adding any of the contouring color that I'm gonna have this looks a little bit silly but I guarantee once you've blended it out later on it's gonna look fantastic I'm gonna add a contouring color um, to give my face more of a defining shape and make it look less round because I do have the Asian gene of the round face and the round cheeks. I kind of did some experimenting. I didn't know what kind of color I should pick. I know that for contouring, you should be using a color that's more towards the cool tones. Otherwise, if you use something orange, you look a little bit more tan than you should. Um, so I grabbed dark caramel, again, in the same Dream Mousse Liquid Foundation from Maybelline. Using this brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to apply some on the edge. I'm going to suck in my cheeks. So that's going to make my chin, not my chin, that's going to make my cheekbones a lot more defined. Like that, and also my jaw. I like putting it kind of more under, it hides a bit of like, if you have any double chin happening. Also gonna do a little bit on my nose. Here. 
and here. Now again with this brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to go in and buff it all out using circular motions. So that stuff was kind of optional. Um, I don't really do that every single day because it takes forever, especially if I have to wake up really early for class. Sometimes I'll only use the one that matches my skin tone just so that it saves me time in the morning when I'm getting ready. So the next step, this I recently picked up like last week. Um, I got it luckily from Urban Outfitters. It just miraculously appeared on the shelves and I bought it um, $46. Urban Outfitters just recently added this to their makeup collection, so I'm pretty happy that they included that. The Anastasia Contour Kit, um, I've seen everyone using it on YouTube and I thought I'd just, you know, jump on the bandwagon. It's pretty great, comes with a lot of colors. As you can see, I really use the yellow one a lot. So we're just gonna grab any kind of brush that's kind of big and go underneath my eyes. So then using my contouring brush by Real Techniques, I'm gonna go in and take just the one over here and I'm just gonna dab it. This one's Havana, this one's Vaughn, and this one is Java. I use Java on my cheekbones and my jaw, just to clarify that. Suck in my cheeks. And we're gonna go again, the same color, and go on our jawline. So I am going to be contouring my nose a little bit. Um, I'm gonna use the center color, which is Fawn. I'm just gonna use a small brush. I'm just gonna go over it again with my concealer just to make sure that my center part is well highlighted. I'm just gonna blend that with my finger. So next we're gonna do blush. I have this little handy palette from Stila. Stila is my favorite brand for makeup. It's a little bit pricey, but their stuff is amazing quality. Um, so you can really tell which ones I've been using most. Let's go with this light pink one. So I'm just going to take my Real Techniques blush brush and just go in there and dab. This Marcel Duo Eyebrow Pro and it comes with one side as a gel. Um, I use the color Brunette. This stuff lasts all day. It's waterproof. Um, it's not that expensive. I kind of want it to start a bit here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw lines going vertically to give the illusion that I have extra hairs on my eyebrow. And then just for the bottom, I will go horizontal and for the top just to shape my brow a little bit better. Okay, so here's one eyebrow that's done, one that isn't. You can really tell that this one has been really fixed. This one, it's just missing a whole bunch and it's not as even. It's nice and smooth, more defined. Here are my finished eyebrows. Here's the complete face finished look. Um, the lighting in this room isn't too good, so I'll show you a picture in different lighting. This is the full makeup look with the eyes and lipstick. Feel free to follow me on Instagram to like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my beauty and makeup tutorials. Thanks guys!